Well, hello, hello, hello. We're out on the XT. Even though uh, I've been busy working on the XR400R, and I probably need to uh, do a little video just to introduce that bike, but that's getting work done on it right now. So, um, we're up off of 76, almost into Clayton. This is, um, this is Popcorn Road. So we're gonna check this out. Um, unfortunately, I uh, I don't know how long my batteries are gonna last. So uh, if it dies, you know my batteries took a dump. So we'll see how far we can get and what the deal is. There's a lot of good roads right around here. And there's Popcorn Creek Road and uh, Tallulah River Road is not far from here. Charlie's Creek, all that stuff is right around here. This is just a lot of loose gravel. I'm just taking it easy. Yeah, my monitor on the handlebar is really low on the battery. I thought that I had a charge, but you know how Murphy's Law is. Now this should come up to Popcorn Creek Road on the left. I don't know if, like I said, the video will last that long. And then that road will go out to uh, uh, Fire Service Road 163 and then back out to 76. So far this is, uh, there's Popcorn Creek Road, that's uh, something else there. That's somebody's private driveway, I think. Because there's houses along here, so... A lot of it's, you know, national forest, but... I can see... Private residences here. So... So far this is just, um, loose gravel. And it seems to be pretty dry. We haven't had too much rain, so... That's a good thing, because some of these roads can can get pretty slick. Now here we have a little, um, I don't know what the deal is here. I don't know whether you go, I don't see this part on the map. I don't know if that's Popcorn Creek Road that way over this little stream and this other road goes I don't know we're gonna go through this little uh, creek Oof. that was actually uh, deeper than I thought These jeans are going to take a while to get dry. That's the disadvantage of 
of, uh, of of wearing jeans when you're out on the road. I my other pants. I should have put on my uh, adventure pants because these will stay wet for a while. That only looked, honest to God, that only looked like it was, um, you know, like six inches. And it was more like a foot. Oh, this is pretty shallow. All these little roads up in this area have a lot of little creek crossings and of course up on Tallulah River Road there's there's a larger one but we're not quite going up there today that was the third one today on this little road this is very pretty in here and it's actually it's actually a little on the cool side because you're under canopy I'm going to lose count of all the creeks we're crossing To be honest with you, I don't even really know where I am, but, you know, that's pretty much my state of mind. I'm pretty much always lost. If I saw somebody out here, I would, uh, I would ask them, but hey, puppies! There's a lot of uh, private residences up here, so. Since there are so many homes, that usually tells you that there isn't anything super gnarly because people have to get to their, their homes. A lot of these roads, this road is, is, you know, maintained and you've got power coming back through here. So this is not like a real deserted road. This is the kind of road that, yeah, if a tree falls, somebody's going to get right on it, you know, and bring their chainsaw out and get it taken care of. Because, you know, as you can see, these, a lot of these are, are, are not that old houses even. It's not, uh, it's not like, you know, Jed Clampett or anything. Now you see, I don't know where, this is Plum Orchard. So I think that's dead end that way. I'm going to take a break right here and get back to you till I can sort of figure out where I'm at. Peace out.